Hi guys and gals, and today we are going to be learning how to map a network drive on Mac. So previously in the last video, I showed you how to map a network drive on Windows 10. Now today I'm going to be showing you and demonstrating this in OS X 10.10, otherwise known as Yosemite. Now the same process will work exactly the same in the newer 10.11, which is known as El Capitan. The three things I want to show you today is, first of all, how to map a network drive. Step two is basically making that drive persistent. What that means is when you actually turn off your Mac in the future and turn it back on, the drive will automatically reappear and remount for you. Step three, I'm going to show you how to make that map drive appear on your desktop. Now for step one, there's two ways of starting this. You can either go in the finder, you can go select the go menu and then select connect to server. That's kind of the long winded way. The shorter way is to press the command button and K on your keyboard. Now once you've done this, you'll actually have the connect to server menu appear and essentially you're typing in the server address. Now the server address, you're going to be using a protocol of either AFP or SMB depending on the server that you're connecting to. So in this instance, I'm going to be using SMB. So you want to type SMB colon forward slash forward slash followed by the server name or IP address of your device that you're actually mounting. And then I'm gonna actually use forward slash photo as a directory that I'm gonna hit connect on. Now, you don't want to connect using the standard Mac credentials. You want to type in the username and password of the actual computer or device that you're connecting to. After clicking OK, that's it. Straight away, you'll see that the photos library or the photos album is now actually successfully connected. I can see it under the shared tab in Finder. I can see photo at the top and I can see all of the photos in there directly. However, if I now turn off my PC, that'll be it gone. So whenever I turn it back on, that means I'm going to have to repeat the steps. So what we're going to do here now is we've actually mapped the drive, but we now want to make it persistent. So this is step two. So to make it persistent, you want to go to the Apple icon in the top left, click on that and choose system preferences. Now in system preferences, you want to hit users and groups. You then want to choose login items. So the next thing you want to choose is the plus sign. Now, after you've chosen that, you simply want to click on to the IP address of the shared device that you've put and select the folder. Once you've selected the folder, press OK, and then you actually see that it will appear in the list that will automatically open when you log in. So you wanna make sure that that's checked. And then after that, you can lock the changes because you don't need to make any more and close that window. So from now on, every time I close down my Mac and turn it back on, that drive will be back. Excellent, so that's step two complete. Now that we've closed this off, we're gonna move on to step three. For step three, I'm gonna show you how to make a shortcut on your desktop. So you don't have to keep opening Finder, go to the Shared tab, click onto the device, and then choose a folder, or go straight into it each time, because it can be a bit long-winded. All you need to do is go to Finder, and then choose Preferences in the Finder menu. And then after that, all you need to do is tick Connected Drives, and then that's it. You can close out of that, and straight away, you'll see that the actual map drive is now showing. That is how to map a network drive, that's how to make it persistent, and also how to create a desktop shortcut for that map drive on your desktop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do have any questions, or you have any issues, or even some of you are using older versions, then drop a comment below. I'll be happy to help you guys out when and where I can. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.